thing we're gonna do is make our ganache. So add double cream into a bowl together with your dark chocolate and then place it into a microwave for about two minutes or so. Keep checking every 30 seconds to make sure your chocolate hasn't burned and it hasn't spilled over. And then leave it for a little bit until your chocolate melts fully. Mix everything through and you should get this beautiful chocolate ganache mixture. Now set this aside and leave it for a few hours. Next we're gonna make our chocolate cake. Oh my gosh, this cake is so amazing. Add your milk chocolate into a bowl together with your butter. You can also use dark chocolate if you wanted to. And place it in a microwave to melt for a couple of minutes. Once your butter and chocolate is melted, we're gonna use a whisk to mix everything together. And I purposely don't melt it till it's really, really hot so that we don't have to wait until the mixture cools down. Your bits of chocolate will melt through when I whisk it like this. Then you're gonna add your sugar, mix it through, and the mixture will start to become a bit thicker, but that's absolutely normal. Next, you want to add your vanilla extract and your egg yolks. Mix everything one more time. And then you want to add your sifted flour. Mix your flour and gently incorporate that inside. Once you've done that, you want to set this mixture aside and we're going to whisk our egg whites. In a bowl, add your egg whites together with a pinch of salt. And you want to whisk them until they become nice and soft. This should only take a couple of minutes, so don't over whisk your egg whites. They should be nice and soft and have nice beaks just like so. You're then going to slowly incorporate your egg whites into your chocolate mixture. So add one spoon at a time, mix it through going around the edges, around the sides and then through the middle. And just repeat the process until all your egg whites are finished. The mixture will change color and become light and chocolatey. You don't want to whisk this for too long as we want to keep the airiness of our chocolate fudge cake. So as soon as you don't see any white bits, your cake batter is ready. I've prepared two tins here lined with some foil and I'm going to evenly pour my chocolate mixture between the two. And my oven is already preheated to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit. And I'm going to bake these for about 35 to 40 minutes. You need to make sure you check in your oven as you don't want to overcook the cakes. The whole secret here uh, is the fact that the cakes are nice and gooey in the middle. So once they're cooked, they should have like a tiny, tiny wobble in the middle, but not too much. So I would recommend around 35 to 40 minutes max. You then want to place your cakes onto a cooling rack and cool down for further half an hour. A good test is to put a toothpick or anything uh, to check and your cake batter should still have little bits on the, on the toothpick, but not be raw. Then gently take off the cling film and just leave it to cool down completely. Once your cakes have cooled down, you want to take them out of the mold and we're ready to assemble. I like to place my first half of the cake on the bottom side, turn it around and then add pretty much one third of your ganache inside. You do want to add quite a lot, so be quite generous. Then you're going to top it up with your second chocolate cake and then put the rest of your ganache on top. Once you've done that, you wanna go around the sides and the edges and cover your chocolate cake as much as possible. This is not a perfectly ganached cake. Um, it's, it's got more of a taste rather than looks, <laughs> but try and even it as much as you can. Once you've done that, you want to put the cake straight away into the fridge to set for about one hour. After the cake has been in the fridge for about one hour, you want to decorate your cake with anything that you have in your house. In my case, I'm using extra chocolate chips 
and extra chocolate sprinkles on top. I'm not doing anything fancy over here. This cake is for my friend. She's a chocolate addict. I'm also going to decorate with a couple of strawberries and then place the cake back in a fridge for a couple of more hours. So after several hours, the cake is perfect to be eaten. It has set. When you cut into it, it's nice and firm. And I'm just going to show you how it looks inside. Just look at that, guys. This cake is absolutely unbelievable. It's one of my favorite cakes I have ever made. And I just really, really hope you try this. It's got such simple ingredients, yet it's so creamy, so chewy, so gooey, and has a very rich chocolate flavor. Just enjoy this. I hope you enjoy this cake, and thank you so much for watching.